Walter and the No Need to Worry Suit by Rachel Bright. Winnie is happy-go-lucky, top to tail sunshine, and Walter, Walter is a warrior, the biggest warrior in Wooly Button. Usually, he worries about everyday things like the dream he had about a chocolate-eating monster coming true, or. How terrible it would be if he lost Mr. Teddy one day. Sometimes he even worries that there's something he's forgotten to worry about. But this story is about the time when Walter's worries got seriously big. Yes, this story is about the week of. The Wooly Button Summer Super Series Day Competitive Sports and a Fun Day on Sunday. You see, Walter did not particularly like sports. It made him worry. But guess what? He'd been picked for not one, not two, but three events. Oh my goodness! How this made him worry. Hey, Walter," said his friend Chloe. "What's up?" "Oh, Chloe, I've been picked for the bounce off on Sunday, but I can't possibly do it because what if I bounce so high and am winning so much?" That my trousers completely come off, and at that very moment, a TV crew arrives and films the no trousers thing, and so I'm basically on TV in just my pants. Chloe raised a cow brow and chuckled. Don't worry, Walter, that won't happen. He might," said Walter. Just then, along came Polly. "Hey, Walter, what's up?" she asked. "Oh, Polly," said Walter. "I've been picked for the champion cheese eating event on Sunday, but even though cheese is my absolute favorite, I can't possibly do it because." What if a giant mouse also enters because he saw me on TV in just my pants? And what if I'm so good at eating cheese that I eat all the cheese in the whole universe? And so he gets really angry and stamps on my house until it's a flat. Polly and Chloe chuckled. Don't worry, Walter. That won't happen," they said. "It might," said Walter. Charlie and Benjamin Bounds arrived too. "Hey, Walter, what's up?" they asked. "Oh, Charlie. Oh, Benjamin. I'm supposed to be doing the running quite fast event on Sunday, but I can't possibly do it." Because what if I run so fast that I don't see the big hole made by the giant mouse who saw me on TV, and so I fall down the hole and it goes through the whole world and I tumble out into space, where four aliens catch me, and what if I have to live on their planet forever? Which you'd think might be lucky because my house is a flat, but the only food on the alien planet is the bananas. I hate bananas. Don't worry, Walter. Everyone chuckled. That won't happen. It might," said Walter. Luckily, just when Walter thought he might pop with worry. His bestest friend Winnie arrived. "What's up, Walter?" 
she smiled. "What is she worried about Sunday?" said Chloe. "What is she worried about everything?" said Benjamin Bounce. "No need to worry, Walter. Leave it to us," Winnie said. Winnie always knew what to do, and off they went. In Winnie's workshop, the woolly buttermers got to work. They sketched and stitched and glued and hammered, and together they hatched a plan to solve Walter's worries. They had made Walter his very own. No need to worry, suit. Walter couldn't believe his eyes. He was so happy he decided to practice his events at home. But when he tried bouncing, the non banana snacks were so heavy he was very unbouncy indeed. Worse than that. He couldn't eat any cheese because of the empty giant mouse stamping helmet. And as for running quite fast, well, the magic stay-on trousers were rather tight, so he got himself in a bit of a pickle. And whenever Walter was in a pickle, he called Winnie. Um. Hi, Winnie," he said. "I'm a little bit stuck about something. I love my new suit, but I sort of can't do anything properly when I have it on." No need to worry, Walter," Winnie smiled. "I know you will figure out the best thing to do." But Walter was still worrying when sports day started. And all the way through the first event, which didn't go terribly well, and all the way through his second event, which didn't go brilliantly either. And Walter was still worrying when his very last race of the day was about to start. All your marks," said the loud speaker. "Get set." Suddenly, Walter knew exactly what to do. Go! He flung off his suit and ran faster than he'd ever run before. You see, what this story is really about is the time when Walter realized that, with a little help from your friends. You can leave your worries behind you.